Wednesday evening meditation, 13th week after Pentecost, taken from the meditations and readings for every day of the year by St. Alphonsus de Liguori, Bishop and Doctor of the Church, first choice as teacher in moral theology. In nomina Patria, Filii, Spiritus Sancti. Amen. Act of faith in the presence of God, most holy and adorable Trinity, one God in three persons, I believe that thou art here present. I adore thee with the deepest humility, and render to thee with my whole heart the homage which is due to thy sovereign majesty. Grant me the grace to pray as I ought. Speak, Lord, for thy servant heareth. O blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God and my mother, I ask for the grace to continue to pray. Christian soul, reflect on these every day of your life. There is one God to glorify, one eternity to prepare for, saints and angels to call upon, one life to use well, one body to mortify, one death to suffer, one hell to avoid, one judgment to confront, one Jesus to imitate, one soul to save, neighbors to edify, one world to be detached from, sins to expiate for, passions to subject to our will, virtues to acquire, one heaven to win. Act of Humility Litany of Humility O Jesus, meek and humble of heart, hear me. From the desire of being esteemed, deliver me, Jesus. From the desire of being loved, deliver me, Jesus. From the desire of being extolled, deliver me, Jesus. From the desire of being honored, deliver me, Jesus. From the desire of being praised, deliver me, Jesus. From the desire of being preferred to others, deliver me, Jesus. From the desire of being consulted, deliver me, Jesus. From the desire of being approved, deliver me, Jesus. From the fear of being humiliated, deliver me, Jesus. From the fear of being despised, deliver me, Jesus. From the fear of suffering rebukes, deliver me, Jesus. From the fear of being calumniated, deliver me, Jesus. From the fear of being forgotten, deliver me, Jesus. From the fear of being ridiculed, deliver me, Jesus. From the fear of being wronged, deliver me, Jesus. From the fear of being suspected, deliver me, Jesus that others may be loved more than I. Jesus, grant me the grace to desire it, that others may be esteemed more than I. Jesus, grant me the grace to desire it, that in the opinion of the world, others may increase and I may decrease. Jesus, grant me the grace to desire it, that others may be chosen and I set aside. Jesus, grant me the grace to desire it, that others may be praised and I unnoticed. Jesus, grant me the grace to desire it. That others may be preferred to me in everything. Jesus, grant me the grace to desire it. That others may become holier than I, provided that I may become as holy as I should. Jesus, grant me the grace to desire it. Almighty God, Father, Son, and Holy Ghost, we ask for your guidance in this, our evening meditation, through the intercession of thy blessed Mother Mary, ever virgin. Ave Maria, gratia plena dominus tecum. Benedicta tu in mulieribus, and benedictus fructus ventris tui Jesus. Sancta Maria Mata Dei, or Penobis Peccatoribus, nuc in hor mortis nostri. Amen. In honor of Saint Joseph, our guardian angel, and all the saints, we pray. Gloria Patria Filio, Espiritus Sancto, sicut erat in principio, nuc et semper, in secula seculorum. Amen. Come, Holy Ghost, fill the hearts of thy faithful, and kindle in them the fire of thy love. Send forth thy spirit, and shall be created, and you shall renew the face of the earth. Let us pray, O God, who did instruct the hearts of the faithful by the light of the Holy Ghost, grant in that same spirit that we may be truly wise, ever to rejoice in his consolation. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Evening Meditation, Considerations on the Passion of Jesus Christ. It is consummated. St. John writes, quote, Jesus, therefore, when he had taken the vinegar, said, It is consummated. John 19, verse 30. At this moment, Jesus, before breathing out his soul, placed before his eyes all the sacrifices of the old law, which were all figures of the sacrifice upon the cross. All the prayers of the patriarchs and all the prophecies which had been uttered respecting his life and his death all the injuries and insults which it was predicted he would suffer. And seeing that all was now accomplished, he said, It is consummated. St. Paul encourages us to run generously and face with patience the struggle which awaits us in this life with our enemies in order to obtain salvation. Quote, 
Let us run by patience to the fight proposed to us, looking on Jesus, the author and finisher of faith, who, having joy set before him, endured the cross. Hebrews 12, 1-2 The Apostle thus exhorts us to resist temptations with patience unto the end, after the example of Jesus Christ, who would not come down from the cross while life remained. On this, St. Augustine says, quote, What did he teach thee, who, when he hung upon the cross, would not come down, but that thou should be strong in thy God? Unquote. Jesus thought fit to complete his sacrifice even to death in order to convince us that the reward of glory is not given by God except to those who persevere to the end. As he teaches us in St. Matthew, quote, He that shall persevere unto the end, he shall be saved. Unquote. Matthew 10, verse 22. <clears throat> Therefore, when through thy our own passions or the temptations of the devil or the persecutions of men, we feel ourselves disturbed and excited to lose our patience and to abandon ourselves to displeasing God, let us cast our eyes on Jesus crucified, who poured forth all his blood for our salvation. And let us reflect that we have not yet poured forth one drop of blood for love of him. Quote, ye have not yet resisted unto blood, striving against sin. Hebrews 12, verse 4. When, therefore, we are called to yield up any point of honor, to abstain from any resentful feeling, to deprive ourselves of any satisfaction, or of anything we are curious to see, or to do anything which is not to our taste, let us be ashamed to deny this gift to Jesus Christ. He has treated us without holding anything back. He has given his own life and is all his blood. Let us then be ashamed to treat him with reserve. Let us oppose to our enemies all the resistance we are bound to make and hope for victory from the merits of Jesus Christ alone by means of which alone the saints, and especially the holy martyrs, have overcome torments and death. Quote, In all these things we overcome because of him that hath loved us. Romans 8, verse 37. Therefore, when the devil pictures us to obstacles which, through our weakness, seem extremely difficult to overcome, let us turn our eyes to Jesus crucified, and wholly trusting in his help and merits, let us say with the Apostle, quote, I can do all things in him who strengthens me. Philippians 4, verse 13. By myself, I can do nothing. But by the help of Jesus, I can do everything. Thus, let us animate ourselves to endure the tribulations of the present life by the sight of the pains of Jesus on the cross. Behold, says the Lord, from this wrongs I suffer for thee upon this tree. My body hangs by three nails and rests alone upon my very wounds. The people who surround me blaspheme me and afflict me, and my spirit within me is more afflicted than my body. I suffer all for love of thee. Behold the affection I bear thee and love me. And be not wearied at suffering anything for me, who for thee have lived a life so afflicted, and now am dying so bitter a death. O my Jesus, thou hast placed me in the world, that I might serve thee and love thee. Thou hast given me so many lights and graces, that I might be faithful to thee. But in my ingratitude, how often, in order that I might not deprive myself of my own satisfaction. How often have I been willing to lose thy grace and turn my back upon thee? Oh, through thy desolate death, which thou didst accept for my sake, give me strength to be grateful to thee during what remains to me of life. While from this day forth I intend to drive from my heart every affection for which is not for thee, my God, my love, and my all. Mary, my mother, help me to be faithful to thy son, who has loved me so much.
concluding prayer, I give thee thanks, O God, Father, Son, and Holy Ghost, for the light which thou now bestowest upon me. I make a firm purpose of my will that I may, in uniformity with your divine will, O triune God, keep my resolutions and keep them well. For the love of thee and thy mother, the Blessed Virgin Mary, so that through her intercession I may receive by her loving hands the grace to be ever faithful to my resolutions, my state in life, and the rule of life now until the hour of my death. I give thee thanks, O God, for the patience with which thou hast hitherto borne with me. I see that, although I forgot thee, thou didst not forget me. I am sorry, my sovereign good, for having turned my back upon thee, and I am now resolved to give myself entirely to thee. And why should I delay, that thou mayest abandon me, and that death may find me as miserable and ungrateful as I have been even until now? No, no, my God, I will no more offend thee, but will love thee. I love thee, O infinite goodness. Give me perseverance and thy holy love. I ask for nothing more. Mary, refuge of sinners, intercede for me. In nomina patria fili, spiritu sancti. Amen. A pleasant evening and a blessed evening to you all, slaves of Mary.